Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're going to be going over if you should get the Salesforce Associate Certification. So what is the Salesforce Associate Certification? This is kind of a newer certification. I think it came out in August or September of 2022 and it's in the certification path, it kind of goes before the admin certification. And it's really great for people who are users of Salesforce or who want to know if a career in Salesforce is right for them. I guess it, if you should get the Salesforce Associate certification is gonna depend on a lot of factors, whether it's worth it or not for you, kind of the different reasons why people would get the certification and yeah, just a lot of different factors. So it's really hard for me to answer um, if it's right for you. However, let's go over some of the mitigating factors for yes and some of the mitigating factors for no. But most of the time I would say, yes, the certification is worth it for you. So let's start with the yes argument of yes, you should get it. Um, it's great for people who are newer to the Salesforce ecosystem. So then they can understand if the Salesforce career is right for them. So someone who maybe just graduated college or someone who's been in a career for a while, but they want to make the shift into working more on the back end of software and helping to set up companies for software, someone who wants to work in IT or who wants to work um, in projects. Really, whatever you're wanting to do, if you're wanting to go into Salesforce, you should probably get this certification to understand how to use Trailhead to support your Salesforce learning, what the different jobs are within Salesforce, the Salesforce ecosystem in general, different reporting, the data model, all those types of things are things you're gonna be learning in preparing for the Salesforce Associate Certification. Another yes to why you should get the certification is if you're planning on getting the Salesforce Admin Certification, this is a great way to get a win underneath your belt. The Salesforce Admin Certification is a really difficult certification because you're going from hardly knowing anything about Salesforce to then learning how to be a full-on Salesforce Admin. There's a huge gap between those two things and that's part of what makes the Salesforce Admin Certification exam so difficult. And so what the Associate does is it helps you to kind of bridge the gap a little bit between knowing next to nothing about Salesforce and then being an admin. The associate is really great, um, kind of in the middle where it tests some things that are going to be on the admin exam and some things that aren't going to be on the admin exam. So it's really great for you to get a quick win underneath your belt because it is a fairly quick certification to pick up. Um, so then you can have some momentum going forward into the admin certification. So like I just mentioned, it does test some stuff that is on the admin certification, mainly the data model, the security model, and reporting. So those three things are going to be tested on, the, uh, on both exams, uh, more so in depth on the admin exam than on the associate. However, this is a great place to test your knowledge in those aspects and see how well you know those things. Again, it will be tested on more um, in depth in the admin exam, but it is still great to know and validate that you have some knowledge in those areas on the associate exam. There's also a really great way to learn how to set up for a Salesforce exam. So there are a bunch of different ways to set up for a Salesforce exam. So you can do it at home or you can be um, on site at a proctoring center, depending on where you're at, you may or may not have those. Personally, I really like to take them at home. Um, just in my pajamas, I can be super comfortable and it helps with my test anxiety. So it really helps to kind of get that down. Also, it really helps to understand how the Salesforce certification process works. So going from setting up to the login process to get the certification started to what the format of the certification is like. So the associate certification, it's a question and answer, 40 question and answer. It's got a choose one out of three. And then you've got some notes on one side, you can mark them as to come back later or to not. It can be really daunting if your admin exam is your first one to then take in that format. So the associate exam is really great to at least know what that process is going to be like. Another really awesome point about the associate exam is that it's less price. The price might vary for this, but for me when I was taking it, um, the price was around $75 for the first take. And then any subsequent test takes were going to be free. Whereas other certifications will be around $200 for your first take, and then it'll be 100 for every subsequent take after that. Or for more architecture certifications, it's going to be 400, 
and then 200 for any subsequent test takes. So it is great that you're able to gain some knowledge, show your knowledge through certification for a lesser price. So now what this can help you do and what I have seen this do in the ecosystem somewhat since it has gotten started is that you're able to take that certification that you've gotten and leverage it into a Salesforce using job. So not a Salesforce admin job, but a Salesforce adjacent job. Now, what do I mean by this? These are gonna be maybe customer success jobs or sales jobs that use Salesforce as their CRM. And so you're able to get some Salesforce experience that way to then um, hopefully go into a more Salesforce focused job. You could also go into sales operations as a sales operations analyst. You could go into revenue operations, which is going to be a fairly similar job to sales operations. You can also go into IT help desk, which was my first job. So while these aren't going to be 100% Salesforce 100% of the time, it is going to help you use Salesforce. So for two reasons, this is really awesome. One, you can use it to put Salesforce on your resume for jobs that you can get in the future that are hopefully more closer to 100% Salesforce. And then also I find it really helpful to be able to use the real world examples that I use in my day-to-day -day job to then work on Salesforce certifications. So an example of this, you might be tested on the admin certification about different automation tools. You might be tested on flows versus using um, a lead automation or a lead um, process. So you maybe in your job where you are working as a salesperson or sales operations, you learn about this lead automation process and you're using it as a user, which can then help you remember, oh, yeah, I use lead automation and so it's going to be a lot more simple than flows and so you would go with lead automation. Now this is just one example. Um, another example could be for reporting, learning the differences between report types and report formats in a real world, real life scenario will help you on the exam. So those are a lot of different yes arguments to why you should get the associate exam. Now, when this certification first came out, there were a lot of people who had a lot of opinions on the associate exam that it was too easy, that um, there was really no point or no space for it in the ecosystem, and that people who already have certification shouldn't get it. And that's kind of leads me into the first to the, the biggest no argument that I have that you should not get the certification is that you are just using it to up your number of certifications that you already have. That it's not really helping you learn anything new about Salesforce. It's not helping you demonstrate any specialized knowledge within Salesforce. So let's say you are an application architect and you're not in any type of mentorship role. You're just trying to go from 10 to 11 certifications just to up your number to be able to show off on LinkedIn. That is probably the biggest no, you should not get the certification. But then there are some other arguments that I would make in counter of that. There are going to be other certifications if you're already at that 10, you know, 10, 11, 12 certification mark, um, it's not really going to show that you have any more specialized knowledge. But then those people who are in this new class of Salesforce admins who first certification is that associate, those numbers are then going to even out as the years go by and those um, associate class admins are going to then have those. Personally, I think that it is yes for most people to get the certification, especially for those who are newer in the ecosystem. Where I would say no is typically if you're just trying to go from 10 to 11 plus certifications and you're not using it to help mentor any newcomers to Salesforce. Um, if you're using it to help any newcomers come into Salesforce and kind of explain what's covered on the exam, things that they should study, where they should focus their study time on if it's limited. I think that's a great reason to get that certification. And that's personally why I got the certification, even though I already had a number of certifications before I got the associate. Yeah, those are kind of my opinions on the associate certification. I think it is a yes for most people that you should get it. It really helps you to, you know, get some Salesforce knowledge down and understand if it's right for you to continue on the Salesforce path or if you want to go explore into other IT certifications. Um, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can check out the courses down below. I do actually have an associate certification course. Most people who have taken the whole course and used the materials have passed on the first try. So um, feel free to check that out down below. It's on Udemy and salesforceupskill.com, which is my certification company that I run with my husband. I would love to connect with you on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. But thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.